so incredible to have them uh, champion, uh, champion this cause and help us all live monumental. I'm also thrilled, as I know you are, that Gold Butte is number one on the list today at the Travis Charity. So thank you so much. Uh, Congressman Titus, I think everyone here knows her and knows that she's a champion on this issue. So let me say for me, we're here for you and uh, our office is up the street. So call us any time. And thank you again, uh, Keen and Zappos, for having me. Chairman of the Moapa Band of Paiutes, Derek Devona. to protect something that is very significant to we as Nevadans. As a native, 
growing up here in this community, I played all throughout the desert lands, the wetlands, four-wheeling, motorcycling, looking for lizards, capturing snakes, and if in fact that these, these lands weren't protected, a lot of people wouldn't have the opportunity to recreate outside. And as I travel the world and travel the country, people always ask, what is there to do outside of gaming? I says, well, you know what? You haven't experienced Nevada until you've experienced the outdoors of Nevada. From Lake Mead to Red Rock to Tule Springs, Basin and Range, and now Gold Butte. We have a lot to do, and there is so much more that we can do collectively as residents of this great community. And so I stand with you in support and say congratulations. Thank you all for your wonderful support, for the many signatures, for the many phone calls and emails, and just standing in the gaps to basically support those things in the outdoors that we all really enjoy, specifically right here in Southern Nevada, but most importantly, throughout the state of Nevada. And so for that, what does the outdoor really do for us? From an economic standpoint, there's over $15 billion of consumer spending. There's approximately $5 billion of wages and salaries that are impacted. There's over a million, I'm sorry, of one billion, with a B, one billion dollars of tax revenue that is achieved for us to put back into our economies. So at the end of the day, it's really about jobs, jobs, jobs. And so ladies and gentlemen, we are here collectively to celebrate the new expansion of our protected lands, Gold Butte. And so, I know we all have a cell phone, so those of you that are willing to participate, don't forget to hashtag live monumental, thank you, hashtag live monumental on your cell phones to continue to let folks know that we're out here campaigning for a great cause. So thank you all so very much for allowing me to stand with you today and say congratulations and let's continue to fight for more public lands here in the state of Nevada. Thank you all so very much. And let me say this uh, while I have the uh, microphone on uh, real quick. This is where I returned to work when I moved back to Nevada, right here where I'm standing, the old city hall. And if you all look straight up, that top bubble at the very top was my office. And I actually missed that office. And I hope that someone will give me an opportunity to tour this building, because I haven't had an opportunity to tour this Apple's building. But in addition to that, I do want to say congratulations to Keen and all of the wonderful outdoor equipment in which you offer and being a part of this great cause as well. So thank you so very much. use, but not misuse our public plans and actually protect them. 
And I think, uh, again, this is what it's all about. As a young, I know, uh, I did not grow up uh, from in a family that was outdoorish. That's something that I had to learn. Um, I got a full drive, and I'm, I'm very, I'm very ashamed to say that when I first used to go on my full drive, I would drive across the desert, uh, making my own trails. But I didn't realize how much I was, uh, the, the, the very uh, outdoors, the desert that I loved so much, how much I was actually harming it. What people don't realize is our, our, our desert, our, uh, our land out in California, it doesn't have any way to, uh, to once the drug is driven across it, it has no way to heal itself. We drive across, those tracks are going to come across, we are going to be there forever. Across, uh, across the west, we see where uh, the pioneers that drove across our country, uh, across, uh, across Utah, across uh, Nevada, into Oregon, you can still see the trails, because they're still there, and they're going to be there well after humans are gone. Why am I a staunch defender of Gold Butte, the Basin Range, and every day outdoors? Because it's, uh, it's up to us to protect them again for generations that aren't even here yet. I, I plan to enjoy them with my family as much as I possibly can and promote the, the, uh, the, the sensible use of, uh, of our land as much as I possibly can. Um, again, I'm very proud to be here. Thank you very much. And let's hear it for uh, our beautiful Gold View. So thank you for coming out. And Congressman, or Councilman Barlow, are you still here? I would love to give you a tour of this building. We are so proud of it. And I'd just like to thank Keen, Friends of Nevada Wilderness, all the distinguished speakers, all the members of the community that came out today, and of course the Zappos employees who have all signed the petition. We have 1,500 beautiful employees here, and they're friends and family. We all live and work here in Nevada. And most of us are super outdoorsy and we really care about this. And so it was pretty much a no-brainer to say yes to have Keith come and stay and play. And so with that, um, the last thing we want to do is if we can get all the speakers and friends of Nevada Wilderness and Keen team members to come up right now while the cameras are rolling and take a group photo of the art. Yep, and all the community members who stay too and hold those signs loud and proud. So if we can just get the speakers to come up. Quick photo op, everybody. And then we'll start the party.